I bought a light meter recently to measure the amount of natural light in my space. This light meter will let me know how much light my indoor plants receive as well as whether or not they are situated in the ideal location with the appropriate level of brightness. A light meter can read in lux as well as food candles. This round dome is the sensor and it reads the light levels. Place the meter as close as possible to the plant's leaves while aiming the sensor towards the incoming light. Keep in mind that the sensor must be positioned towards the light and not towards your plants. When the sun is at the brightest, you should test this in your space and keep track of how many hours your plant will be exposed to the light. With the Lux readings you have, go to the internet and search for the specific plant's Lux requirement. For instance, the Monstera needs at least 1000 Lux to thrive, however 4000 Lux is optimal. My Monstera here is doing okay considering the Lux reading is well beyond 1000, but to be honest, it is growing extremely slowly. This clarifies why as it's not being placed in the best sunny location. Here is a comparison of two of the same indoor plants that were grown in two separate parts of the home to illustrate how important the appropriate light levels are for indoor plants. It is obvious that the Monstera Adamsoni I prefers greater lux levels which accounts for why the one on the right is unhealthy and appears to be dying. So I've acquired a new Calathea plant recently and I'm looking for the ideal location for it. I would love to have it in my living space but this seems to be a bad idea as the Calathea needs a minimum of 4000 lux to do well. Now funny isn't it, it's an indoor house plant but my indoors isn't bright enough for it. If you are not keen to purchase a light meter or spend on a gadget, you can always download a light meter app on your mobile. There are several options over here so do check them out and give them a try.